the United States and the world become more dependent on technology and the satellites that control them, we take a look at the connection between the Blue Cube, the Space Shuttle program, and the first Asian American to fly in space on today's episode of... Hello, I am U.S. Air Force Captain Deborah Kim, a finance officer here at the Space and Missile System Center. Today I'm here at the Heritage Center and I'm in front of the Onizuka Air Force Station display. The Onizuka Air Force Base was named after U.S. Air Force Colonel Ellison Onizuka, who was the first Asian American to fly into space on the Space Shuttle Discovery. He had a distinguished career in the Air Force as a flight test engineer and as a NASA astronaut. The Onizuka Air Force Base was a ground station that was part of a global network that monitored and communicated with satellites, particularly Department of Defense satellites. You see, all the satellites in space are tracked and controlled from Earth through a network of ground stations. This network allows for communication with satellites, tracking satellite orbits, sending commands to the satellites, receiving and processing telemetry data. The largest space operations activity in the Department of Defense is the Air Force Satellite Control Facility located at Sunnyvale Air Force Station in California. One such ground station was established in 1960 as the Sunnyvale Air Force Station in Sunnyvale, California, commonly known as the Blue Cube due to the building's shape and color. It was activated to support the Discover Reconnaissance Program. The Blue Cube, for its time, was filled with advanced technology and engineers dedicated to the movement and data processing of military satellites ensuring use of the latest techniques and equipment for daily support of telemetry systems. To operate such satellites required planning and careful scheduling. Due to high demand from agencies and the amount of resources needed to control any ground station that accessed those particular satellites. In the past, they used schedule sheets like these to keep track of requests from various agencies. This computerized graphic plot called the acquisition chart is put together on a continuous basis to provide a record of the time a particular satellite will be passing over a given These track. schedule sheets were used and to plan the connection of ground control systems to so the antennas personnel. that communicate with specific satellites. In addition, a new data system will make available new centralized command and control of the entire network, yielding more efficient use of existing... Today, resources. we are transforming to a digital force and are using more and more automated scheduling to perform such tasks and become more efficient and effective. Specifically, all aspects of resource scheduling, switching, and routing will be under computer control. In 1986, the Sunnyvale Air Force Station was renamed Onizuka Air Force Base in honor of NASA astronaut and U.S. Air Force Colonel Ellison Onizuka, who lost his life along with his fellow crew members during the Space Shuttle Challenger tragedy morning, when it exploded it shortly so after launch on January 28, 1986. One minute, 15 seconds. We've grown used to the idea of space, and perhaps we forget that we've only just begun. We're still pioneers. They, the members of the Challenger crew, were pioneers. The Onizuka Air Force Base would operate for 29 more years until its deactivation in 2010 and most of the main operations for numerous satellites transferred over to Schriever Air Force Base in Colorado. Colonel Onizuka's legacy continues with the Onizuka Satellite Operations Facility at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, where many backup operations are conducted for various satellites in orbit. Colonel Onizuka once said, your vision is not limited by what your eye can see, but by what your mind can imagine. We continue to imagine an exciting and better future and we hope you are inspired to do the same. I'm Captain Deborah Kim from Los Angeles Air Force Base. Please visit our website for more information at the smcheritagefoundation.org. Thank you for watching and Semper Supra!